Okay, y'all. This is for the Me Too, the very last liberal part of the Democrat Party, and the moderate and the signing Republicans. Yes, I know Susan Collins and Jeff Flake both decided to vote for Tom now. Hell yeah. Good. Awesome. Thank you, Joe Manchin. I'm glad you decided to vote for Tanov. But the delay and the disrespect this guy showed him? Wow. You guys are way close-minded, way too uh, off-base. He did not lie. There was no corroborating evidence to prove these women's claims that they were raped. You guys are so freaking close-minded and idiots that the left and the liberals are giving you mind reading. But the thing is, they're playing mind games. They're giving you hot games. They're lying to you and you're deceiving and you guys are taking money for George Soyuz and the um, liberal left uh, activists. Wow, you guys are so blind to the movement. You guys need to do your own research. Yeah, his attitude and his emotional um, testimony last week. I agree with him. I would be fucking pissed off. I would be shitting pissed off if I'm name and my family's name have been really run through the mud and thrown under the bus for nothing. Seven FBI investigations proving he's not guilty. And the um, testimony from this woman, I don't know about all of you, obviously people believe her, but um, People proven that some of her um, testimony, like ex-boyfriends and friends, just contradicts her testimony. I don't know why people are actually believing her. There might have been something happened to her, but that extreme, um, if you do your research and you look up um, contradicting her story is like ex-boyfriend, ex, no pipe, ex-best friend. Yes, she lied about him. Proved she has been lying. So, sorry, Christina and the other two people. But was not guilty from the start and you guys were just pulled underneath the bus by the Democrats and Judge Soros, who wanted him off. I'm so glad Susan Collins, who pretty much explained her decision to me way too much, too long, didn't need a 15 minute decision speech. All she did, could have done is just explain her, what her, his decision was where her mind was um, when she was flip-flopping, but she didn't have to go on to the Me Too movement and stuff. It could have lasted a half an hour speech. Not 45 minutes non nonsense of her speech. So it kind of makes me in pickle because it's like I cannot stand Democrats who behave like behave like that? Liberals and Judge Soros. Also, and also the Republicans don't have my votes either because seriously, the more economically and budget things and they worry about the bottom line instead of um, social like veterans, kids, elderly, disabled, they don't think of them or the benefits who doesn't need them. 
but does that mean I'm for liberal cards on the bomb? And does I'm a moderate founder, not a fiscal conservative, like I um, is bringing in other videos. So like I said, it leaves me in pickle. I have a friend who is running for um, Louis Slaughter's Senate um, Congress seat, um, Joe Mawali. He's a really good guy. However, his commercials, I like the regular Democratic issue, like they said um, in other shows. They're focused on the health care. Many people want to know other issues, like policies, like where they stand and the um, other people in the party's behavior than what confirmation hearings, which is like, ridiculously harsh and ridiculous. So I can't stand by them. I'm hoping Jim Wally isn't for that. Um, Mark Strong is a doctor, yeah, but he's also a Republican. So I have, and I know Joe is a conservative Democrat, but I need to know more about his policies, where he stands on the policies, not for health care. The Democrats do not stand, promote just health care. Republicans do not just cover immigration. You need to cover other issues. Um, for me, economy and budget are not even care. I don't think that's a big deal. National security, foreign security, international policy, foreign policy, where I stand, and the wall. Yes, the wall. I'm 100% behind wall. I want to know where you stand. I'm not doing this video to change your policies or change your minds. Just I want to know more about your policies. Nothing else. The Dems and the Republicans are not really focusing on big picture and all the policies which I can't stand. Um, and Fox News um, and other CNN, MSNBC, where they have bipartisan, um, bi biased partisan committees at once. The world should know that's going to be allowed and yelling debate in your show? Why you have them? I have no idea. So right now, I'm so up in the air because of the Democrats' behaviors and Brett's confirmation. In New York State Governor, I am some Malone. I'm not for Cuomo. Cuomo, nah, has the son against Trump lost me. Again, Republican, I don't know. So, right now I'm up in the air and many of these um, things. And Republicans do not try to change my mind. It's going to only drive me more to not vote for Republicans. So, Republicans, remember, I am an independent, not a Republican. So I'm just um, soul searching, searching for answers for before um, um, the election in 33 days, and I'm not getting all the answers I need. I never do. I said Trump, Trump kicked ass. Those people would be like Trump. All I can ask.